Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. Uh, this video is going to be a short video on a, a stock analysis, which is Ashiana Spat Limited. So this stock is basically, uh, it's a company that deals with uh, steel sector. Okay. And you can learn about this on uh, the internet more. So right now, uh, one of our subscriber had requested about the analysis for this video so we'll qu quickly do that analysis so like we did the analysis for uh, a stock previously i think that was uh, what was the name of the stock oh yeah i think this was the stock that we analyzed previously innovative tech pack limited and so on the same style we are going to analyze ashiana is pat limited so Again, uh, this is a stock which is uh, less than 50 rupees. Okay. So, when the stock is less than 50 rupees, we know that the mutual funds or DIIs or FIs holding is definitely not going to be there. So, let's see if we have any holdings from them. But if we look at this, uh, there are some things that is highlighted. Stock has not been able to generate better return on equity than FT. Okay. That's okay. Stock doesn't offer attractive dividend returns. That's fine. And it says not a good time to invest. Stock is in an overbought zone. So we'll check out that. And no red flags. Stock not in ASM GSM list. And not a lot of promoter holding is pledged. So now let's quickly check uh, the holdings. Okay. So that will give us a basic idea uh, who are the investors in this particular company okay uh yeah so if we look at the holdings promoter holding is around 41.6 percent and no mutual fund holding no domestic institution no foreign institution and retail and others holding some up to around 58.4 percent okay so uh, retail and others investments are definitely more than the promoter holding which is clearly visible so uh, likewise uh, in the previous video also i mentioned that the only problem with such stocks where fis and dis or mutual funds they do not hold the position is the stock will not make a very significant move and secondly uh, higher chances of manipulation from the operators okay so a lot of people so since this is a penny stock you know, a lot of operators uh, indulge in malpractices like investing more money and taking it higher or maybe taking it lower. So that risk is always there in such stocks. But anyways, uh, we'll still do the chart analysis, uh, the technical analysis that is required. So one of the points that we saw was uh, stock is in uh, overbought zone. So if you look at this is the weekly chart. So in the weekly chart, if you see that there, there was a downtrend line which the stock was following since uh, November 2017 and finally it broke that particular resistance uh, in the month of December 2021. So almost uh, like after four years it has given a breakout and yes uh, the subscriber I think whatever stock he picks up uh, is amazing. He just picks up uh, right at the breakout time but in this stock if you check it has already given a breakout okay so it was already following an uptrend uh since august 2020 okay and this is one of the strongest price pattern uh, let me show you once so each time uh, a stock is following a particular trend line you know the bounce from that particular uh higher low it should be higher so see clearly we have uh, the, each time it bounces it goes higher okay and this is how the stock is traveling at the moment but the only issue is it has already given a breakout and uh, the rsi is also indicating around 80.75 which is in an overbought condition so what should we do here okay so the first thing is uh, a lot of my uh, followers know that i'm a price action trader rather than a technical analyst so i always wait for a retest of a level okay so if i get a retest at this point then i buy here okay 
and then I add more quantities when I see a breakout of this point. So which means that uh, the first set of buying I would initiate around 19.75 and then once it breaks 26.5 is where I'm going to add more quantities. So this is how I usually trade. Uh, but sometimes, you know, stocks, uh, it may go up more and then may it may fall down here and then give a retest. So there is again that possibility. And then this becomes a, a very tough resistance for time being. And people like us, we buy here and we wait for this level to break out. And that happens after a long, long time. So that is a possibility. But the only problem here is, uh, you know, you can still consider buying here. Uh, but your quantity sizing should be very less, okay? Because what if it comes down for a retest? You know, it can retest from this place or it can come back to this particular trend line and then move higher. So the, there are two points wherein it can come and do a retest, okay? Even this would act as a confluence area. So what is this point? Uh, let's quickly check. This point happens to be around 16.75 okay so 16.75 is a price uh, where the stock can retest okay and it is also a confluence uh, zone confluence zone and 19.75 is also a retest area but i would be more comfortable in buying at 19.75 uh, rather than waiting for 16.75 okay and then uh, right now 26.5 seems to be a bit risky because where will you keep the stop loss that is the question okay because usually your stop loss should be below the previous swing so the previous swing happens to be here let's consider 15 rupees <coughs> okay so imagine 15 rupees uh, that means if I divide it by 26.5, it is almost 57% uh, stop loss. So that's quite huge. Okay, your stop loss becomes 57%. So uh, I think uh, what we should consider at this point of time is we have really missed this breakout. Okay, either we will buy once it comes to this place and add more once we cross this this should be our first strategy okay and second uh, you know buy at this place and in case if it touches here and if it cro again crosses this level then we will add more quantities at the same price okay we are not going to do any averaging okay so we're not going to average it on a lower price that is not advisable so what we are going to do is we are going to buy at 19.75 in case if it gives a dip at 16.75 that's good but we will not enter any quantity here after 16.75 again it should cross 19.75 so suppose if i buy thousand quantities at 19.75 after a dip at 16.75 if it crosses 19.75 I'll add another thousand quantities because I'll be sure. <clears throat> and then I'll wait for 26.5 uh, levels to break out. Then if you want to book or you may want to add more quantities, you can definitely do it. But currently this is not the right place to buy. So this is my view on this particular stock. So I will definitely wait for a dip and then buy it rather than jumping at the current price because these stocks they may move immediately tomorrow but this is not the right practice of entering into a trade so that's all about uh, this particular stock if any other questions you have with regards to this stock or any other stock you can definitely put it on comment uh, definitely come up with a video or any quick advice that i can give on the comment section itself i'll do it thank you for watching uh, Thank you once again.